Today I'm taking you into my kitchen. Since sharing my minimalism journey, one of the questions I have got is, okay, Madeline, you've gotten rid of all of this stuff, but what have you actually kept? You know, how many mugs do you have? How many plates do you have? And I don't feel like there's necessarily a specific number for everybody, but I do want to take you into all of the cupboards and show you what's in there. So if you're curious what's in a minimalist kitchen, then this is the video for you. So here is what's in our kitchen. I'm going to give you a little overview first. We've got main kitchen cupboards on the left. As you move to the right, we've got the little kitchen table. So the area is not massive in here, but it works perfectly for us. So we've got just this little kitchen table that I got from Amazon. I will try to link as many things as I can below and the chairs as well. We have the same chairs in our dining area and it's nice because if we have extra guests, I can pop these two in the dining area and just have extra seating. Placemats are from Ikea and that little basket was from Primark a while ago. Then I've got a little plant here and then the ever so famous Ikea high chair that we use a lot for our baby. Oh, and on top of the table, I just put these two frames recently just to add a little bit of something to the wall. I love their little faces. Oh, and then on this side of the windowsill, I've just got the fruit bowl. I get asked where I keep my fruits, which I find so funny, but this is where I keep them. Just a little Ikea fruit bowl. And then I've got this vase that I keep here because sometimes I put fresh flowers and they make me smile. And then that's pretty much the bulk of our kitchen on that side there. So let's dive right in. I keep minimal stuff on the countertops because it makes it easier to tidy, clean. The tidy at the end of the day is much easier if you don't have a whole bunch of things on the counter and you also have extra workspace when you're cooking. Hashtag Binfluencer, I will link this bin below because I have gotten questions about it. Got a little hand towel. And then this little spice rack that was already here when we moved in, but I will link some similar ones and the spice jars as well. Then out on the counters, as I said, I keep minimal stuff, but I do keep my kettle, toaster. I've got a couple of bottles that I washed this morning. I usually put those away in a cupboard as well. Got kitchen roll. Then over on this side, I've got these two dispensers. One is dish soap, one is hand soap. I got them from Paper Ink. And then very much not exciting, but I've got the little dishmatic and a brush thingy for baby's bottles here. I don't keep a dish rack or anything like that. The clean dishes, as I clean them, I just pop them on the right side of the sink and then that's it. I like that I don't have a big dish drying rack here because it would take so much space on my counters. I've got some Mrs. Hinge cutting boards here and just some spatulas that I like to use a lot. Big empty space on the counters, which I have grown to really love and appreciate a lot of space because that's my main cooking area where I put my cutting boards and I just love having that area there. And then to the right of the cooker, we've just got a coffee machine, our little Nespresso one that we love. Up at the top here is where we keep glasses, mugs, and the travel bottles as well. I don't feel like there's a specific number that works for everybody, but we definitely need less than we usually have. I used to have probably over 30 mugs or something. Ridiculous. These are a set of six. Um, a few of them are in the wash. I've got these two that I really love, the glass ones for my coffee, and then four mismatched at the top, just because we love those. I think there's 12 in there, actually. I don't feel like because you're a minimalist or you want to simplify, you have to get rid of everything that you love. Absolutely not. But it's just about being intentional and keeping the things that you actually enjoy using. Then we've got these glasses. These are right here. And then I love those stainless steel cups for children. It's really satisfying to drink out of them for some reason too. Moving on to the other side is where we have got plates. I do have some children's plates somewhere else that I will show you, but actually we use mostly these plates for my older son as well. It's just for the baby that we usually need some of those non-fragile ones. It's IKEA 365. This is the big dinner plate, little side plates, and then the pasta or soup bowls. So those are all IKEA. Then in here we've got just washing machine. Under the sink is, as usual, the cleaning area. On the door we've actually attached these two little caddies to put our cloths. So I use these for cleaning. These are mainly kitchen and just random surfaces around the house, like mirror, dusting, things like that. I've got the mop cloths, bin bags, and then in here usually go the bathroom cleaning cloths, but those are all in the wash at the moment. And then in the like awkward under the sink area, we've got cleaning products and actually I have pared down our cleaning products a lot. So our main ones are just Purdy and Fig surface cleaners. So I've got this one is just for everything around the house. Honestly, I use this on 
windows, mirrors, coffee table, dining table, kitchen surfaces, pretty much anything around the house. And then this one is just the bathroom one, which is perfect for lime scale, mirrors, toilet, sink, everything like that. I use this. The only extra thing that I have for my like weekly cleaning is this thingy right here which is the bauer collective um toilet bowl cleaner so just what you put in the actual toilet and here i've got some little things i use for cleaning these are the refills for my perdi and fix so this is the counter cleaner i love this orange one and this is the for the bathroom spray got some dishmatic extras the scraper that's really good for things like oven scrub daddies the sonic scrubber which is good for corners and cleaning the shower drain and the flash magic eraser for walls because hashtag mom life if you've got children they probably draw or throw through that stuff that's really handy and those are kind of my main cleaning products then here we've got dishwasher tablets next to the dishwasher and then these are laundry pods next to the laundry machine obviously and then this is just something we use for our um so the bin does have a recycling this is recycling this is household waste but we also take our soft plastics to recycling so any of those little bags that food usually comes in you can actually recycle those at tesco just if you take them separately yourself so that's what we do in these little containers that we have here these are i think from tesco i believe and they are just like cereal or dry food containers but i use them for this because they're a really good fit for in here and then i've got their dr backman's cleaner and just some little random uh like laundry things here and then my pot orangery diffuser refill I do keep a few refills because I get those Bauer products and I use those for hand wash and things like that as well. So I do keep some of those in our storage area in the shed outside. And what I realized once I decluttered my house is that actually I can use my storage areas instead of dumping grounds and graveyards for things I don't even know I have, I can use instead those areas for being kind of a backstage to my household and helping with keeping my daily use areas more clear, have more space in there because I can keep things that are like back stock or refills, I can keep those in storage. It makes my household and my kitchen run a lot better. Then in here, as I mentioned, we've got dishwasher. It's actually one of those slim dishwashers. So it's a bit smaller than what we used to have before. And I actually secretly love it because we get to do dishes a bit more often, which means we don't have to keep as many dishes to fill the dishwasher every single day. Okay, done all the left side of the kitchen let's move on to this side so in here we've got kind of dry goods and just some random things as well so i am going to show you this is like a uh, one long cabinet in there as you can tell i don't keep a lot of kitchen gadgets at the moment up there i've got a food processor it's one of those three in one so it's food processor hand mixer everything like that and it's exactly what i need i don't need any fancy equipment at the moment it's what i used to make like cream soup or chop up veggies anything like that i used to also have a slow cooker up there but i got rid of it because i realized i wasn't actually using it much got a few bottles of whole milk the long life one because my baby recently moved to just regular milk and so i want to have a few spare in case we run out of the regular fridge milk my kids are sick basket i also keep a bottle or two in here just because it's a convenient spot i guess i've got cup hole thermometer nose sucker and a few plasters here as well those are just the main things we use when the kids are sick then i've got a few condiments up here like vinegar drizzle oats rice seeds things like that in here and then at the back there i've got my bolognese tomato sauce that i like to use for our pasta i just have a couple usually in the back there because they're easy to pull out when we need to cook with them i've got a couple of bowls up there that i use sometimes for salad especially if we have gas and i just want to display things a bit nicer then i've got pasta flour olive oil um we use olive oil for pretty much everything i don't usually buy any sort of other oil then in here we've got some like cans sweet corn beans you know just the usual i've got some tuna in the back things like that and then here at the bottom i figured it's a really good spot to slot in some of these quick cook rice packs so i've got two of those in there and they fit perfectly oh and in that basket there i've got vegetable stock 
quick and easy to access. So that's those two. Now moving on to this one. It's a really narrow one. So it kind of fits a few random things, to be honest. We've got some medicine that we use. I mean, more like paracetamol and stuff like that. Vitamins, um, my supplements, things like that. Some medicine that I use for my condition. Um, and then at the top, we've got some teas, hot chalk, peanut butter, honey, you know that sort of thing and what i've learned through this minimalism journey is that i don't really need to focus on all of my cupboards or everything looking perfectly aesthetic it's more about being functional and having everything in a place that makes sense for me and yes organizing helps but i do think getting rid of the stuff that you don't use is actually even more important so that's kind of what i focus on now it's just having things that i actually need and i actually use now this side is kind of breakfast bits i would say because this is obviously cereal that's the baby's one and we've got the coffee pods and then we've got sugar in here and then i've got another thing of coffee back there that's just for decaf pods that's what we keep in there and then here we've got some little bowls that we use for cereal or for other bits as well this is the baby's one i've got one of those egg cups i'm the only one who eats eggs like that so we only have one and then at the top we've got a couple more cereal boxes we apparently have some extra this week and then i've got that basket of mats i just keep some extra stuff in there that we don't use on a regular basis but but yeah we do need them sometimes and i'll also show you at the top there i do need to drag a chair for this because i'm quite short so at the top here two baskets of pretty much extras that we don't use on a regular basis so i'll show you in this one you know how i've got those spice jars there i did get asked you know if i buy something and it doesn't fit what do i do well for example the sugar didn't fit all the way i put it in here salt um, I've got coriander. I have no idea why for some reason at some point I ordered a whole bunch of coriander I think I thought I ran out and I didn't but anyway, and then I've got some baking stuff here Again, it's not perfect, but it works great for us. We don't really bake that often I'm gonna be honest, but it's nice to have some of those icing bits the cooking cutter things But I don't need these to clutter up my drawers all the time when we um, in reality rarely use them but when we do want to bake this is really easy to pull out and it just makes things a bit tidier in the daily cupboards and then in here i've got some extra things that again we don't use on a regular basis but it's nice to have these little kitty plates and cups for when we have guests over um, or if you know my son has some friends over then these are nice to have in here and an extra water bottle that he doesn't use at the moment but i keep those just because he has broken a few in the past so yeah just in case he needs an emergency bottle for school that is obviously just the fridge right there and the freezer at the bottom so let's move on to this section here so we've got in here pans and pots so this is just my little egg one that i love to use this is from tasco for my stainless steel pan and then there's another one that's non-stick i honestly can't get away from non-stick for things like pancakes yeah pancakes and eggs i found find it those tricky but everything else i cook in the stainless steel ones and then i've also got the stainless steel pans and their lids at the back there i love this little sliding thing honestly where we came up with this was a genius down here i've got there at the back a couple of serving boards in case we want to do like a charcuterie kind of thing colander mixing bowl little pyrex cup and then i've got a, a bit of a larger pot in case i want to make something like a bigger you know soup or just something that takes up more space and doesn't fit in those little uh, pans there then the very obvious cutlery this is quite a big drawer these are my only cooking knives or like actual cutting knives i have one more of these but it's in the dishwasher and then we've got some little random thingies in here that's pretty much it i don't keep a million you know kids cutlery things or anything like that that's what we have here then this drawer is some more spatulas these are the stainless steel ones that i mostly use and then some random accessories that i do use in my kitchen got the grater i've got here um, things like cling film aluminum foil things like that and these are mainly like baby things you know if i want to make muffins i've got these um baby wipes and at the bottom here is just tupperware i do have glass tupperware in here that's pretty much what we use at the moment these are pyrex ones so you can also put them in the oven these ones which is brilliant 
this one's pyrex as well and then those are ikea super handy for leftovers and then in here is pretty much our snack cupboard or like snack and baby food i guess so we've got snacks that mostly my son eats now that he's a bit older obviously he eats some of our snacks and treats as well um you know he can have chocolate it's not like he's a baby but yeah he's got mostly mostly his snacks here then these are mostly mine and my husband's snacks i mean snacks it's just like little treats that we have at the end of the day and things like that but again my son does come in here and grab our like chocolate eggs this is my bread bin i only have this bread in at the moment but sometimes we have things like bagels or burger buns or whatever stuff like that i just pop it in here i used to have bread on my counters and it took up so much space so it's so much nicer to have in here these are just some crisps my husband loves those and then here at the bottom we've got just baby stuff so this is just some pouches that we've got for her she loves these um yogurt banana oats little balls and then these are just some finger foods like biscuits and some wafers puffs things like that and then at the back there you might be able to see i've got some little plates we've got two of these just amazon ones and they're really good especially for babies little children my son loves them too i honestly don't use them very much with my baby at the moment i know when she's older i will but at the moment i just put you know bits of our food on her high chair tray and that's it she doesn't need a plate really but when she's older then obviously she can have those then obviously we've got microwave oven this i've gotten questions on what this is this is i think called a broiler we have never used it the previous owners have told us they have never used it i'm pretty sure no one has ever used this in this house so it's a nice little storage area for our trays and things like that so i've got this stainless steel tray that we use for like pizza or i mean pretty much cooking anything in the oven and then the other two um, baking trays that i have are these two pyrex ones so this is a large one and then this is just a bit smaller i've got this one for banana bread and things like that which i haven't baked one in a long time so yeah that's that but i do sometimes and then i've got that muffin tray at the bottom and then the little oven mitt and that's what's in here so yeah very useful broiler i must say and then here at the bottom we've got onions potatoes garlic things like that and then this is usually an empty area or a place where we could keep like extra snacks or something like that so in here we've actually got some tupperware with um figs like dried figs and then this is raisins that i put in my son's um lunch box and you know they come in a bag and once you open the bag you want them to be in an airtight container so they go in here i do hope you have enjoyed coming along for this minimalist kitchen tour if you have any questions leave them in the comments below happy decluttering and i will see you in my next video bye guys